What's up guys? <clears throat> Welcome back to the channel. Alright, so I finally got my hands on an ion. I'm gonna get one on Tuesday on Crusader Day, but um if you are an Imperator subscriber, you get this uh free for a week. Well, not free, but you get to use it for a week. So that's how I got it a little early, because I haven't bought it yet. But I just want to let you know, it's freaking awesome! It is everything I hoped. I haven't tried the Inferno yet, because I've been having so much fun in, uh, in the Ion. Come on, baby, start up. Here we go. Crusader Industries, a journey worth taking. Systems on. You know, I'll tell you all the stuff I've, like, figured out. Liner today. You are clear to launch. Um, do not mess with the MFDs. I've already ejected myself during quantum travel doing that once because the sort of inner thought stuff, like exit ship, is what you're actually hitting when you're trying to hit the MFDs. So don't even bother. Until they fix that, they just gotta stay as they are. I'm using head tracking. Look at that gun. Oh shit, you know what? Might be a good idea if we take off, huh? Landing gear up. Woo! -hoo. suit well basically my Thank I just again. I just died suit that's what that is the times I've died was one time um, I went up against um, a player bounty he was in an Andromeda fully crewed all the turrets and were, were hitting me and I basically got way too close and yeah it, was, it didn't end well I got some good hits in but yeah so, that was interesting. I need to change my tactics, hit from a distance, keep moving, I don't know. A little out of practice in combat, even with this big old thing. Who that? I don't know, it's a hurricane. I can't untarget it, so, sorry. But yeah, she is a beautiful ship, look at this. Gun is just crazy. All the gubbins on there for the gun. Now, um, I find that I don't use missiles much. Maybe on something really small and annoying. You could go for some, you know, I don't know if a size 3 could hit a buccaneer, but maybe you want a size 2 for that. But this has 12 size 3s that you cannot change the size of, but of course you can change out for different size 3s. But it also has another 8 size 3s and 2 racks that if you want you can change to, instead of uh, 4 3s you can have 2 4s or uh, 1 5. So I've gone for 1 5 in each and those are those red dots that you see under the wings there. Each one of those is a size 5 missile, it's really kind of a torpedo. So, if I get any big size bounties, I may try try that out. You can see them in there. It actually replaces, uh, when you change the missile rack, it actually replaces the, the cowling, the cover, for the missile bay too. So, you get a custom missile bay cover, depending on, you know, what configuration of missiles you put in there, which is really cool. I've never seen them do that before. Maybe I just haven't noticed, but, um... That was nice. I was like, ah, oh, it's probably just gonna leave a gaping hole in, you know, the missile lab. Nope. It has little covers, especially for the one size five. So, um... Look at the detail on that gun. 
It's crazy. Very nice. All the components on the outside. Um... what's going on here. We might have to manually quantum to the mining claim. It's pretty snug in here. It's alright. For a fighter cockpit, it's it's really nice. Alright, uh, now where's my mining claim? There we are. Oh, I found a good power setting. If you look at the power triangle over there. Um, basically, like that. So mostly to shields. You don't need anything to engines. I just have one push towards... So it's like max shields, but one push towards weapons to keep the gun charged. And that is plenty. And this is a stock power supplies. So, yeah. Honestly, you don't really need to upgrade the power supply or the coolers. Um, I do recommend putting FR-76s on for the shields, and uh, as I say, it's nice to have uh, two size fives in case you get something big, but you've also got 12 size threes if you want to for smaller ships. But you may want to, you know, get a whole bunch of size twos on there if you want to, I mean, whatever, you know. That's the cool thing, you've got two size five missile bays that you can configure how you want, so that's pretty nice. Depending on your sort of style of flying. We're gonna stick to guns for right now though. Look at the detail on the widget on the canopy, that's so cool. Just so you see what this gun is like. Check this out. Ooh yeah. Okay, so we're flying over there. Hopefully this freaking mission is not bugged. It probably is. I'm not seeing anyone. Oh, hold on. What was that? That is a that is a thingy. Seems to be bugged though because it's not giving me a number like zero out of nine or whatever, and it's telling me to go to the claim. G2 PUS. Hold on. That's where I'm at, right? It sure is. Oh, now it's kicked in. You see it? So it takes it a minute to update. So you gotta give it a, a second here. So now it's picked up that I'm here, and it's like, alright, now you can get on with destroying the sentries. Okay. Which I'm assuming this is one of them. So what you wanna do with these... I was hoping I'd get some prospectors. Earlier I was getting nothing but prospectors, and you can more often than not one shot those guys. But anyway. Uh, these uh, turrets, though, you want to circle strafe them, you know? Like, don't be stupid, don't just fly at them. Once they start firing, you want to start circle strafing. I notice how I'm just staying at SCM speed. No need to go fast. Going fast is to get the hell out of dodge. Like, if you need to make a quick escape, that's when you go fast. So we're just gonna let off a few rounds on this turret here. Two, three, four. Four of hit. Five. Six. So six hit, and I didn't even get near it. Six was enough to kill it. That did count as one of them for this mission, but I don't know where the others are. And this seems to be the problem that a lot of people are running into, is that the targets don't spawn. Which is weird. So, I don't know what we're supposed to do, like scan or something, I'm not sure. What the hell is that thing over there? Oh, that's the station. It's huge. You know, I'm trying to attract some attention here. NPCs, hello, hello. Where you at, fools? Uh, no. Well. Yeah. 
Yeah. This is the kind of thing you run into. Now, earlier I was doing very nice. Well, there's some targets. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. What do we got? Prospectors! Alrighty. So these will give us like an extra 500 to 1,000 each. So this is be like, you know, gravy. See, he's like five. This guy's the closest one, so... Basically, you just kind of want to slow down. And, uh, just... You can probably pop him with one hit if you get a good hit on him. <laughs> oh, you will start laughing like an idiot because this thing is hilarious. See what I mean? Though I did damage myself a bit there because I ran into him. Friendly, my butt. Okay, where's the next guy? So this is where head tracking is good. You can keep an eye on him. Yeah, I mean, I know there are only prospectors, but damn. <laughs> I have, okay, trust me, that never gets old. He, oh, oh, hello. <laughs> it was he hiding. Hi. Shit, dude. I mean, I'm not getting much money from, but it's fun. I don't know what to tell you. If you just want a stupid blast, get in an ion and and come do a, a claim jumpers mission. It's absolutely hilarious. All right, well that's cool. Glad at least I got some of that on video, so you can see how it can take out a turret pretty easy. And if once you get near, you just need to circle strafe, which is you know basically kind of slow down, point at it. Sideways strafe. Like this. And just keep making slow your adjustments while shooting. And you will you will hit them like this. And of course you gotta keep keep the crosshairs on the reticle. But this is the idea, okay? So if you don't know what circle strafing is, that's what it is. Practice it, learn it, you need it. Well, if I could find another turret, that would be freaking nice, but... Because that's, that's what I need to get paid. <laughs> Alright, anyway, well, I got one turret. for a second. Jeez. Okay, where my claim jump is at? I'm in the search area. Oh, hello. What's that? Oh, a turret. A turret. Let's go down there. Nice. I think they're just really slow to spawn in. Oh, he's shooting. So we're gonna slow down to about half. There you go. See, when you're closer, you can get them in like two or three hits. So they seem to be spawning in pretty slowly. As soon as you hear them fire, yeah, you need to be circle strafing. Don't fly at them. One, two, whoops. So there you go, three hits, and those turrets are down. Well, that's three! Where are the other guys? What's going on? Come on, server, wake up! Maybe I'm doing it wrong. I haven't done claim jumpers in a long time, like a year, so... Huh. Am I supposed to go check out all these little 
you know, clusters of bullshit? I don't know. Because I thought that was just where mining stuff is. Okay, let's go a little faster. It's actually pretty good on fuel, this, especially if you stay in under, uh, you know, SCM speed. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Here's a bunch of them. So maybe you are supposed to do that. Beats me. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Okay, so we need to identify... These are all prospectors. I was going to say, we need to identify which one's the turret, and probably go after that first. Come on, baby, come on. But there wasn't a turret, they're just all prospectors. And if you've got FR-76s, and you're a bit more power to them like I have, you don't really need to worry about getting hit. Shit. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. We're all just, like, flying around each other. Mm -hmm. And... Oh my god. Come on, boy. That was 700. Didn't quite get him good there. Oh, you silly desync. Jumped. else we got? Another one? It's trying to show, like, distance, but these guys are so... You can see this gun's accurate, though, from when I hit the turrets. It's very accurate. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. <laughs> ah, satisfying. Satisfying. Mm-hmm-hmm. <laughs> And pop. No, no. Oh, see, it's what happens when you get cocky. Oh, shit. Too hate when that happens. Oh, got a thousand for that one. Where am I at now? Uh, 99. Okay, good. I'm, I've got enough to get the quantum drive I want, which is the XL1, so I can get places quicker. It will use up more fuel, so it's a bit more expensive to run. Alright, well, let's try exploring these little pockets. Because that, unless it was coincidence, that did seem to work. So we'll, we'll just kind of head over here. See if more stuff pops up. server. I don't care about the prospect, just give me some more turrets. disappear too much. I mean too quickly. You just stick around a bit longer. At least 10 seconds or something. shooting me. I mean, tracking me. I just need to find those damn turrets. 
I may give up. I may give up. Surely they're not out this far. I would have picked them up by now, because you can normally pick up turrets like, you know, about 12 clicks out. So I think it's just not spawning them. Which is a shame. So, I think what we'll do is we're going to go over to Hurston. And, uh, oh look, there I am. Yeah, what's going on? Uh, so yeah, we're going to go to Hurston and uh, see what missions we can pick up around there. If not, then we'll go, I know another good place is Crusader, because you get Yela and stuff. Um, maybe, wanna, maybe a skimmer mission or something. They pay pretty good and usually get a decent sized target like a caterpillar in those. We'll see. We'll check it out. Uh, there's not. Last time I. Oh, I guess the server looks pretty full, but. for a second. So let's see what missions are available around here. Uh huh. So there is this one. That was in a cave. I don't want to do that. I think. Or a bunker. Yeah, it's a bunker. I'm trying to do flight stuff. Another claim jumper. Uh, bounty hunting stuff. We've got... Simple, Let's see, very low risk target, low risk target. This one doesn't know, it's probably high risk, but it's um, in a bunker, I think. Oh, in a cave, ugh, hate that, never mind. So the bounties, yeah, I seem to be stuck, I don't know how long it takes, like. Pretty in the green there, the Bounty Hunters Guild, Junior Guild member. Not done any missions yet for boxes. Crusader Security, they seem to like me. Tracker Trainee. Hurston Security, done a few things for those. Microtech, nothing yet. Haven't made any contacts yet. So, I don't know if it tells you, it doesn't give you any information, oh, LRT available, there you go, that's what I'm looking at. So I guess you keep going, you just got to get this green up, eventually you'll get here. So you just got to keep doing the LRTs, so eventually we can go to those, and then very high risk targets, and then... Extremely, what was that? Extra risky? Extremely risky? <laughs> I don't know what that stands for. No additional perks, guild steward. Okay, so I guess we could try doing some more LRTs until we get HRTs. Uh, whoops. Which would be this guy? So we'll grab that while we're here. But we should also grab, um... This one. The only thing I don't like about this is it has a timer on it, but... Wait. No, did I just pick the wrong one? Shoot. No, okay. Let's track this guy. Do that one first. Uh, 
So let's see, where is it at? This. Sometimes if the gun gets damaged, it actually will either fire really slow or it'll just stop firing altogether, so... Sometimes... So, I mean, that's, it has to show red on the self-status, of course, when that happens, but... So I think we're good. You kind of have to scan around, and you do have to check these out, and you want to be kind of quick about it. There's three of them, and once they pick you up, there's a countdown, so... That looks like one. Missiles at me. So that seems to be working. We got we got two actually. There's one more somewhere, and I got four minutes twenty five seconds to find the damn thing. Damage there, I've got a torque imbalance now. What's this? What's this? What's this? Hold on, hold on. Whoa. Okay, okay, okay. This is where the airy speed comes in handy. What have we got? That looks like one. It is a monitor. Gotcha. So that was good. Got me some money. to avoid those usually fire off a decoy and then side strafe and I should miss you yep. okay well I think we got uh, paid I think yeah we did cool so we got 20 grand or whatever for that So we can get out of here, but what we should probably do... Oh, we know we've got that other mission to do, yeah. Which is... the sky. 
then we'll head over to Crusader. Uh, where are we? It's over here, right? I think. What did I imagine that? Oh, it's over here. So that's how you do those skimmer missions if you don't know. Pretty pretty easy. Why is that obstructed? Probably because it thinks that the comma ray is in the way. Simple's 8.4 G's. What is getting up to its top speed? Come on, dude. This is another stupid bug. There we go. See you, Miss Al. <clears throat> Trent Topper. Get the sun out of the way. We're not trying to sneak up on this guy. We're here to kill him in his face. Look at me. If that's a bug or not. Sometimes it's not a bug. And it really does have a major torque imbalance. If you get real damage. SCM speed. Well, that blue light is up there. Okay, piece of space junk. Gladius is pretty nimble, of course, compared to this ship, so we'll see how it goes. May have to do the whole reverse towards space thing out of the asteroid field. Target oh, never mind. <laughs> I'll just kill him. Oh, we got another one. What's going on? This guy is... Saber, ooh. These are just NPCs, of course. I hate that juddery nonsense. Oh, goddamn, come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, 
over, dude. Contact. Sabres are stealthy. See how stealthy that was? I couldn't get a look on him. So uh, this guy's way more maneuverable than me. As you can see, unless he stops going around in a circle. Attack on shield. <laughs> NPCs are fun, aren't they? Whoops. Shields went down like ten percent. <laughs> I wasn't even really trying. Like if I really had to fight that guy, I would have done the whole reverse of reverse a Rooney. And the way you do that is basically find a way out of the asteroid field. So let's say like maybe here. Um you can either just look, look backwards and do it, like this, you know, and, and try and find a way out, and just go backwards, that might be easier. Or, you can punch it, like this, get up to top speed, which it does pretty quick, go decoupled, turn around, and we're still traveling in that same direction where we should be. Why is it slowing me down? That's bullshit. That is not what I said to do. I said to go decoupled. Did I not? I'm pretty sure I did. And then you can shoot him. Anyway. So... The other way, of course, is just to go full reverse. So my throttle's to zero and my reverse axis is to full. Jeez, hold on. So, now we go full reverse with the speed limiter on full, and you can see that someone's chasing me, I've got nothing behind me but space, I can just be like, boom, boom, bitch, boom, and that usually takes care of most little fighters. Or you can fire off a small, um, you know, small, small missile or two, or, you know, something, whatever. So there's different ways to deal with stuff, but I don't know why that, uh, whoops, wrong button, decouple mode's not working. It was before. It's trying to slow me down. Oh, look, the thrusters are firing. It's definitely not working. Unless that's because I've took damage or something? I have no idea. Alright, never mind. Let's head on over to Crusader. Uh, and, uh... Yeah, we'll just go there and see what missions we can pick up. I really like that for this, they... 
I was going to say they put no sounds for the ship on the exterior in the quantum fine zone. Shit, let's not run into this. Slow her down. to do that, but I got a thousand back. So now that should give me access to MRTs. What do we got now? The stalker. Okay. Oh please. the quantum drive because they have it at Cousin Crow's. I can't move though. If I get out, I'll just be falling towards the planet. And I'm on the... I'm nowhere near Orison. So I'm already falling. Well, this sucks. Watch me fall away now. Where's the ship? There it goes. Bye, ship. Sorry, I tried. Well, now I'm just falling towards a gas giant. This sucks. I can kill myself. Yes. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Careful, doors are now closed. Make up your mind, lads. There's some mage desync here. How to watch someone without them knowing that you're watching them. tried this yet. So, this will be fun. Hmm. Hey, where'd the honeycomb thing go? Oh, there it is. It took a while to come in. I'm like, isn't this supposed to have honeycomb nonsense on there? 
Their blacks in this game never look black. It looks gray. I don't know. Do they know how to make black in Star Citizen? Doesn't seem like it. It's pretty interesting how that had to load in. This big ass gun. Why is that white? The whole thing is black and you make that thing white. Why? Oh, for God's sake, get up there. Just get an idea of the scale here. Yeah, it's a big gun. <laughs> Although I'm standing halfway along it because the, the firing mechanism is all behind me there. That's a stupid big gun. Wow. All right, let's get in it. People have been uh, saying the ion is better than the the inferno, but I think it depends how you're using it. I can see this being better for strafing ground targets. And maybe even dogfights with bigger ships. With, with medium ships. I don't know. Basically, when you have to get a lot of bullets on someone, you know. But, I don't know. The lights look really bright from the outside. Look at that. They look like they'd be bright. They ain't. I don't know why. I think they need to fix that. Why are we moving forward? Windows, thanks very much. Go. I guess it looks black. <clears throat> In certain circumstances, their black just looks gray, you know. On the original concept uh, illustrations, they had a big old thing on the left, um, which I assumed held all the rounds, but. I guess they made it more compact now. I thought it was too bulky. It did look really bulky. It didn't look aerodynamic at all, that's for sure. Not that, that some of that looks aerodynamic. Alright, you can see the difference in the missiles here. The default um, four size threes, where I had the one size five on each side. So, <coughs> see how it changes the actual cover as well. It's pretty cool. Alright, can we fire this off? No, I'm still in a freaking armistice zone. Far away do you have to go to get past this armistice zone? Let's try this weapon. See, that look, it, it, it goes so fast that it starts to sort of phase. Um, you know, with the with the frames, with the game frames. Is motion blur on? I think it would look better with motion blur on. Camera motion blur. Object motion blur. Now let's see if that looks better. You see? That's, that's what's going on. It's stupid fast.
it's so fast. It's it's like like when you watch a, the wheels of a car on a on a movie, and the wheels appear to run backwards at certain speeds. Yeah, I forget what it's called, but you know what I'm saying. That is pretty violent. It's very violent. I'm not sure if it looks better with the motion blur on or off, honestly. the same. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, anyway. I'm gonna have a go on that. Told you. I never like these, though, because they're too close to that little ring above them. Like, why the hell would you put that little ring frickin' there, dude? Trying to get it hit by people? animation looks better on this one. On the Ion, it all happens way too fast. Hmm, I just noticed that. Interesting. This is still a good looking ship, but I just think I prefer the Ion as far as how that gun works in this. That is a crazy looking gun though. Alright. They should make a suit that says I just died in Stanton and all I got was this lousy space suit. Because everyone has them. Alright, let's see. So I've got plenty of money, which is good. Uh, quantum drive. Uh, we want the XL1, which is 94,900. Class A military. Gimme. Other things I want, I don't think they have them here. I already have the FR-76s, I don't have those. I do want the Quadracell, I think it's the MT power plant this size. I need two of those. And I need three Avalanche. I think they're Avalanche, maybe they're Arctic. No, I think they're Avalanche coolers, yeah. But we're not getting those yet, because that's, for all that's another 200,000, so, or 300,000. What? So, yeah, that's going to have to wait, seeing as how I currently only have 74,000. I'll get there, though. Okay, so let's take a look at the uh, Ion. And uh, we're going to go to Quantum Drive. Unequip. And... See the difference? Equip. And then save. So now I've got my F FR-76s, which are these bad boys, uh, which are Class A military. I've got my XL-1, which is awesome. Class A military, fastest drive you can get for this uh, size. And these are two power plants, three coolers that I need to get. So we're getting there. There's all my size threes and the bespoke Missile launcher and then the two racks. Uh, you 
you get the, the five four threes with them, which size uh, five mount gives you four size threes. <laughs> uh, I swapped it out for a five one five, which is a size five mount that gives you one size five. And what I put in each of those is this guy, the Stalker Five missile, which it kind of describes as a strike torpedo. So. It didn't seem to be too effective. I'll say that for it. Maybe because it didn't lock on. I'm not sure why it wasn't locking on. Maybe that was some kind of weird server thing or I was doing something wrong. I have no idea. Anyway. Glad we got the XL1 in there. We can get around faster, but we will use fuel faster. Okay, so how do we get out of here? Okay, elevators. Yes, I do prefer her to the Inferno, that's for sure. We have a look up here. Uh, one of these is actually... There's the shields, radar, life support. I think I went past it. Jump drive, yeah, it's this guy. And there he is. There's our XL1 we just bought. Sitting there, quite happy. Nice. I wish they made them light up and stuff. You know? They still feel like placeholders. Can't find the power plants. There's spots for battery, but you can't open them. It looks like you're supposed to. I don't know, but I don't know where the powers are. The, I found the coolers. Um, there's one there. There's one on each wing. I don't know where the powers power supplies are. Um. Shields ugh, are right here. Right next to each other, so if you get hit in that one spot, you lose both your shields. Doesn't seem very smart to me, but whatever. Um, and then, what else we got? There was radar, and uh, there's a scanner in there that for some reason you can actually pull it up. I guess we'll be able to buy better scanners at some point. But that actually is not... I thought it was a power supply, but it says on it... Scanner. So... And then right... I think life support's... Oh, jeez, come on. Here. Yeah, but you, there doesn't seem to be a way to open that one. Because when you get near it, you end up triggering the inner thought for the canopy, which is annoying. Those cargo things look so little. But it's funny. Alright, so we should be able to quantum down there.
seeing her. She in the clouds, looking at the sun there, looking at Stanton. Looks far away. We got rain hitting the windshield, the canopy. Station Spaceport. This looks uh, really impressive. Those blizzards and then the clouds and it looks so cool. By the way, the spaceport's coming out from behind the blizzard there. whatever that is. And you see the trees there for scale, so it's a huge place. Anyway, we've got to ask for clearance. Please proceed to assigned landing bay. After this, I'll be doing the uh, day two video for the expo. So do check that one out. Where are we going? Oh, we're going in the front, are we? Cool. Doesn't this look awesome? Look at that. That is so cool. I wonder if it's so damn hard trying to get in here at night. It's tricky. Damage? I think I did anything rough. Nah, yeah, we're fine. May as well fill that up, I suppose. Jolly good. Oh. Actually, that looks slow now. Maybe it was just behaving weirdly before when I saw it. The smoke glass looks badass, isn't it? Nice. Well, they haven't had much of a chance to use them yet, but. That you can do that. I like that it puts this cover over the top. Like it has its own little freaking launcher and everything. 
mean, it's a tube. It's a tube. It's not just a, a cover. It's a tube. Right. Love this ship, man. Love this ship. It's great fun. Hmm. All right. Well, that concludes this video. Um, shenanigans in the uh, eye on there. Hope you enjoyed that. And uh, do check out my expo uh, daily videos. I'm trying to do a uh, quick tour in the expo. So if you can't make it, check those out. And you can see what's there. Uh, but until then, I'll see you in the verse.